Is there something in the air in East Liverpool that could be affecting the health of children in the area and affecting their ability to learn in school? A new report draws a connection. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shares the information and what people say is needed now in a special 27 Investigates report. After a pair of studies linking higher than normal levels of the element manganese and lower IQ scores, some in East Liverpool are wondering what's being done about it. That's a good question, and it's a question we've been asking. Alonzo Spencer leads the environmental group Save Our County. He says results from those studies conducted by the University of Cincinnati and Kent State's East Liverpool campus shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. As a matter of fact, we had experts that looked over some of the data and they predicted exactly what's happening. The studies were conducted in 2011 and again more intensely in 2014, testing hair and blood samples of school children. In some cases, it showed manganese levels twice as high as other communities. Local school officials requested the studies over concerns with academic performance in a district where, at one point, the numbers of students in special education was 50% higher than the statewide average. The new results are being published in the journal Neurotoxicology. The article's abstract references both the Heritage Thermal Medical Waste Incinerator and SH Bell, a metals processing plant, both located in town. Earlier this year, executives with SH Bell agreed to reduce and monitor its manganese output. Although they had issues with the EPA in the past, officials with Heritage Thermal tell me their own manganese levels are negligible and federal documents show no problem. While the school superintendent tells me he has not seen the newest studies, he's not pointing fingers at anyone. I'd be very hesitant to draw any kind of a causal relationship between the study and uh, our students. While Taylor says his focus is on helping his students the best he can, Spencer says the results show a broad-based environmental study of the community is needed. It's more than needed now. It's almost urgent. In East Liverpool, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.